Today we are turning a page and celebrating the start of a new beginning here at the Central Library with a project that will benefit patrons not only here in Baltimore, but across the state of Maryland. This project has been in the making for over 20 years. This is a great project for Baltimore. It's the restoration of the Pratt Library from the grandeur of its construction in the early 1930s, recognizing the need for improvement for modern day. Some of the thoughts that go into restoring an existing building like this is to sort of bring in new life or new vitality into the building itself. As a preservation architect, you have to have sort of a knowledge of how buildings were historically built so that you can sort of think about how these existing elements after so many years will shine. People may wonder why the Pratt Library in the state of Maryland decided to invest a significant sum of money in the renovation of a 1933 library. If you think first about where this building sits in the city, it sits on the hill in a neighborhood that is rich with cultural institutions and other opportunities for learning. It sits between major routes in and out of the city, the eastbound and westbound, along with the northbound. So the bus route and access is very simple and that is very, very important for the people who use the library, but also the people who work here. So finding a site of this size for a 300,000 square foot building in an appropriate location would have been a challenge. The second thing is the inherent qualities of the building itself. It's built out of strong, durable materials, beautiful limestone, and the spaces are large and open, and that lends a lot of flexibility. So we were able to utilize the existing structure, reprogram it, and we're hopeful we're going to be able to recapture the beauty of the original building and have something that would have been impossible to pay for if you tried to build it from scratch. I think it's important that everybody understand that this project's been endorsed and supported by the state of Maryland from the governor right down to school children who will be using the project when it's opened. This project wouldn't have happened without the support of the legislature and the governor. What's become more important in libraries, not just here but around the nation, is the fact that we need to move away from some of the traditional roles that we've had in terms of being a repository to being a place where people can come and engage. It's because really the Pratt Library is a, a little bit of a community center. It's a town hall, if you will. The importance of, of this library has really grown. It used to be if you came into the library and you were looking for a specific book, a librarian might have to go to five different places to find that book for you. But that's not the way users want to get information today. We're used to getting information with the click of a finger. We focused on the users who would be in the building using the building. We really wanted to focus on the people. The library will remain open during the entire period of the renovation. Now things will move around and you'll be coming in and out different ways, but the building will be open for the next three and a half years while all of this is going on. This building attracts more than a half million visitors a year. So we know how important it is. There'll be more public space, expanded training and conference facilities, creation stations to fuel imagination, a new teen and young adult wing. We will have an expanded and restored children's department. The fish pond will still be there and the majesty of Central Hall. You'll see how beautiful this building can be.